right, welcome once again to the Friday Beer Break. This, of course, is our new format where we finally have an official sponsor. Well, they finally did it. The Beer Market is sponsoring our Beer Break. That is awesome. They have live music Thursdays through Saturdays. They've also got the rock and roll curing brunch on Sundays. What better way to cure a hangover than to come down to the Beer Market. Now, this week, we're doing the IPA from Red Racer. Yep. Joined, as always, by Chris Schreier from thefrontofbeerblog.com. Happy New Year's, everyone. Merry New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year's. Now, one thing before we get into it, Red okay. Racer, actually in the spring, they're going to be available, it's going to be available here exclusively on tap. It's the Pale Ale, not the IPA. Yeah, so Red Racer Pale Ale, which is also phenomenal, and it's not available right now in the province. You can't get it. Um, just the IPA is what you can get at the LCBO. But when it comes in in the spring here, uh, yeah, it'll be on draft. It's going to be amazing to have it on draft here. Now, what's the difference between just a pale ale and an IPA? Oh, this is the ongoing conversation. Ah, yes. Perhaps the answer will come someday soon. Well, it's such a multifaceted issue. By American modern standards, pale ales and IPAs have a lot of kind of crossover in the middle. Um, IPAs still tend to be higher in alcohol and higher in hops. Uh, pale ales tend to be lower in alcohol, lower in hops, and also slightly lighter in body, but that's not always the case. I think though right now that we're getting more into super hoppy IPAs. I think that's becoming Absolutely. more of a trend. Oh, yeah. People are really developing that palate. But you might have an American style IPA from Brewer X, and then have an American style pale ale from Brewer Y, and find that the American pale ale actually was hoppier than the IPA, and it just... There's no rules. There are, but they're muddy anyway. A rational explanation is hardly necessary. This, though, is a phenomenal one, available at the LCBO, um, and obviously here at the beer market. And it's from Surrey, BC. And Central City won Canadian Brewer of the Year at the CBAs, 2010-2012. Um, Great Lakes just won it last year, so it's a pretty big deal. Really? People know me. It's Great label, too. Amazing, the way. amazing. Get a good look at that. Label. Get a good look at that label. They, uh, I don't know how they got that past the social responsibility panel at the LCBO, but God bless them, they did. This is actually the basis for Molly Fitzhiggins on the Gord Thunderspear radio play that we run at 8 10 a.m. on the show. The garters showing as she rides her cruiser, her ginger locks. Her fixie bike. Her fixie, her fixie bike. bike. Her ginger locks uh, a furl in the wind. Yeah, it's not a white sunfire with pink trim, but it's good enough. <laughs> um, I don't think Gord Thunder Spear would drink, look at, it's like I just made a beer commercial happen. Would drink Red Racer IPA, I don't think you would. Well, yeah, it, it, does, it come in, does it come in super cans? <laughs> I don't think it comes in super cans. <laughs> anyway, now that I made a mess of the tablecloth, they so graciously provided with us, and or a significant head, which is going to get completely all over my new curly mustache. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. Two urns. Science. Science so kids. So you can already smell it. Yeah, it's I mean, very from hot here, you get this really nice resinous hop. The West Coast hops from Classic. the West Coast. So uh, let's have a go. I got, yeah, pininess and a bit of citrus. Everything you'd kind of expect, like you say, from that classic West Coast kind of hop. It's it's clean. Like it smells like a. It smells like. When you're a little kid, pine salt smells like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Pine salt pone los aromas a trabajar. Siete poderosos aromas que sí limpian. Things are clean, things are good, that's what it's like. Oh yeah, that's... It's fantastic. Yeah, I mean the aroma, aromatic hops kind of hit you right away, but it's really nicely bitter. It's not squeaky bitter, it doesn't leave your mouth feeling wonky, but it's got a really solid bitter backbone to it. And then, yeah, a nice sort of biscuity, almost uh, toasty kind of malt to it. They say biscuity. Biscuity. <laughs> think, about, think about kids at home, the next kids, time you're drinking one home. of these beers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You go right after Teletubbies. <laughs> and you get yourself a uh, digestive biscuit from Peak Freens. <laughs> Munch on that. Have a bit of the beer. You're going to see what I'm talking about. Tell your parents Uncle Chris said it's okay. You're the worst human I know. No, not even close. Ciao! Uh, no, God, man. But yeah, and I mean, you can see as well. I mean, it's a little hazy because it's unfiltered. Beautiful carbonation. You can just see it's cooking away in that glass. I, this really is one of the best IPAs in Canada. Hey, how long have they been around for then? I, I don't know when they started, to be perfectly honest with you, but I mean, it, 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 this century. This, um, this century? <laughs> <laughs> This millennium. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're fairly new, relatively speaking, compared to some of the other older breweries, from what I understand. And I believe they actually started as a, like a brew pub, I think. I've never been out there, so I couldn't tell you. But uh, it's been available at the LCBO now for, it came in as a special release. They bring in a skid, it would completely sell out. All the beer geeks would cry foul, why wasn't there more? <laughs> Finally, they just started bringing it in regularly, but it's a great, great can of beer to keep around. And I mean, it's great because it's the short boy, right? We're so used to tall boys yeah. in Ontario. Um, I think that that's great. That would be great. Especially when you think about it, it's being shipped from BC. You don't want to be paying to ship the glass, the environmental impact. It's perfect. Environmentally conscious. It's Red Racer IPA. It's at the beer market. They've got live music Thursday through Saturday, the rock and roll brunch on Sundays, and Red Racer Pale Ale, gonna be available exclusively on tap right here at the beer market come the spring.